I have, don't hate me, I have never watched Titanic. <laughs> Sometimes I think I think too much. What is up, it's your boy Justine's back at it again with another video. This time we're doing a bit of a Q&A. We are doing a Q&A video. So, first of all, first and foremost, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that share button. Turn on post notifications so you know when my next content's coming up. Big, 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 big announcement coming up at the end of this video. So make sure you stay till the end. It's gonna knock your socks off, literally. This is your sock, my sock really, but then bang, gone. And the other sock, and then bang, gone. Bang, that's what's gonna happen at the end of the video. Before we get into that, I have to answer some questions for you guys. So I posted on my Instagram literally yesterday and I asked for um, suggestions for questions. There's a few there, I don't know if you can, can you see that right now? Before we get into the first question, I just want to do a quick little background on me. So my name is Joshua James Neri. I am half Filipino, half Italian. My dad is the Italian, my mom is the Filipino. Um, I have three siblings, two, two halves and one full, I guess, if you call it that. Not amazingly close, but we're close enough. And then, as well as my other brother, but then our sister, we're not as close to, because I've only met her once. So, yeah. So first question, are you in a relationship? No, I'm not in a relationship. I am single. And if you have any friends, um, <clears throat> hit me up. But with that note, I do believe in one thing with relationships, either dating for marriage or you're dating for breakup. So, I have to decipher between the two. What do you call it? He's in a, in a girlfriend. So my qualities in a girlfriend would be someone who is very, very, very family orientated. Mad smile. I love a nice little smile. Beautiful eyes. Personality traits. Outgoing, but also willing to stay in as well. Because sometimes we need to take a step back and just relax. But then, of course, you want to be out and about as well. So extroverted, cross introverted, I guess, if you want to call it that. Non-smoker. I'm not really a fan of smoking because dad smoked ever since he was 12 years old and he's currently 70. He just celebrated his 70th and he was smoking from his 12th birthday until like, I don't know, he was 60 something and then he gave it up. So I saw the toll he had on him. I'm going to stay away from that. So there's a pimple right there. What are your plans for the channel or what? why did you start vlogging? Why did I start vlogging? I started vlogging because, to be completely honest, I did it because I didn't want to just stay in my room while COVID was happening. I wanted to you know, like try different things. And my whole concept for 2020 was to try different things and experiment, I guess, if you want to say that. I thought, why not give vlogging a shot? Push from some friends and they're like, hey, why not just go for it and just see how you go? So finally, I took the step. I've got my first camera, which is my GoPro Hero 5 that I got off Eric De La Paz. Thank you, Eric. Shout out to Eric. Literally two days ago, Monday, I bought this camera that I'm viewing on right now, which is a Canon G7X Mark III with my boy Louis Marc Salazar. Like, I've been watching my video and I'm like, I want to make this a bit more better, like more cinematic, I guess, if you want to call it that. For my whole channel, I'd like to show the value of like friends, family, you never know what's gonna happen in the future, so like just make the most of what is happening around you. And if you want to try something else, try something different, do it. Why not? Who's who's gonna stop you? Only you, pretty much. If they don't like it, then oh well, at least you like it, at least you're passionate about it. And guess this is what vlogging is doing for me. So I'm keen to see where this channel leads. What do you do in your free time? So pretty much in my free time, I used to used to be able to play some basketball in my free time, but because I've I'm on crutches now, I can't really play basketball since my last video, you guys saw it, I posted it right up here. I got injured, so I haven't played basketball for a bit, but I do like to be active, be outside. And I play Batman through high school, other than vlogging. See, I'm watching you, you're watching me. That's pretty much what I get up to right now. I mean, just try different things, really. I really want to get into, get into NFL, once they get mad physical, mad physical. What is your favorite movie genre slash music genre? So, my favourite movie, or I'll start with least favourite. My least favourite movie genre is horror. I absolutely hate horror. It's not that, like, I am scared of horrors, of course. Who isn't scared of horrors? That's the point of a horror. The thing about horrors is, it just doesn't feel realistic, you know? Like, I like to watch movies that are very realistic, or, like, have a deeper meaning behind it. My favourite genre would have to be action comedies related to a true story, rom-coms, a bit of a, you know, a tear joker here and there. I don't know if you guys have seen Coco, but that movie hits hard. Even though it's a cartoon, that movie does hit hard. So if you haven't seen that, I 
probably suggest you go watch that right after you watch this. After you finish watching this. Big fan of R&B, hip hop. The lyrics have to mean something. There has to be a meaning behind it. I can't just listen to it just because of the beat. I mean, that's fine in a club or whatever, but like, so like selectively, I want to listen to those lyrics. I want to know what he's, he or she's singing about. <laughs> How did you become the scuxiest man of love all? all right, I don't know if I said that right. Scuxiest, scuxiest. I don't know how to say it. I don't know if you guys know what it means, but I'll put a description right here. Because there's another question that says, how did you become a lady man? ladies man? I don't know if they relate, but I feel like they relate anyways. I don't think I am a ladies man, to be honest. I'm just, I'm outgoing. I'm an outgoing person. I'm extroverted, so I feed off other people's energies. And I guess put positive vibes out into the world, you will get positive vibes back. And of course, vice versa. If you put negative vibes, you're going to get negative vibes back. I guess for me, to answer those two questions, um, you probably are the one that asked me these questions. I think personality is everything. Like, yes, we can have good looks and stuff, but like, if, if there's no essence behind those looks and you can't have a conversation, I need to have a good conversation with you. And I just want to be able to, you know, dig deep into your mind, you know? Dig deep in that little head of yours. Right there, yeah. This pimple's really annoying me. What are you most passionate about? This question I really love. Um, cliche or like cringeworthy. Family. Family is always number one for us. Just we've been brought up like that. Like family is everything. You can't replace your family, but you can replace your friends. I always heard that. I literally live right next door to my cousins, which is sick because like we get to go over and have a chat. Just be close as if we're brother and sister, which is so cool to have that that environment around you, to have those, those people around you. Yes, you can have a good friendship group but for me I don't have any best friends or anything I'm just like once I accept you in you are family like I'm gonna treat you as as family pretty much treating my loved ones as much as I'd love to be treated back very passionate about sport and just being active and out there contributing to society positively you know not not, not just draining its resources actually putting back in to the society which is sick is a sick feeling the sunset is the happy ending of the story that I'm yet to tell Quote by Joshua James, 2020, get onto it. Any regrets or any interesting facts? I guess one of my biggest regrets right now would have to be that I didn't travel as much to experience different locations, different environments, put myself in different situations. I will jump off a building and bungee jump if I have to. I will skydive, whatever, but you know, you need income. So like and subscribe right now so that I continue to chase those dreams for you guys and we can experience it together as one, because we are family right now. Now, the only thing that comes to my mind when I think of interesting fact is when we thought, when we were talking about movies. I have, don't hate me, I have never watched Titanic. <gasps> yeah, that's true, that is a 100% true fact. I don't know, I just never really got around to it. I was like, I don't really, I don't feel the need to watch it. I mean, I get it, I get that there's so much behind it, but I don't know, I just never got around to it, I'm sorry. Are you studying and what are you studying? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna finish my course, which is a Bachelor of Hotel and Resort Management because I didn't finish it yet. I started back in 2016, as soon as I finished high school, which is 2015. And I did three years and then I took a step back and wanted to do a bit of working for a year. Two subjects left, so. Some people ask me why I get into hotel or hospitality or hotel and resort management. Is that I like to be, I like to influence somebody's experience, if that makes sense. If you're having a bad day and you walk into my hotel or resort, my hotel or resort, or even where I'm working, and I want you to leave like the happiest you've been that day, I guess. That is why I do this for. I get this big, big old feeling in my heart right here. Is that my heart? Left. Oh, that's this side, yeah. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I've done some research and found that England, they're known for the hospitality and I'd like to experience that, even the USA. I've always wanted to travel to the USA and see what it's like culture-wise because I am very cultural and diverse. I just want to experience different cultures and go out and explore the world and that's what I'd love to turn this channel into as well as a little bit of a travel vlog as well which would be cool but right now it's a bit hard. I actually had plans to go to New Zealand this November coming and hopefully I can still do that but we'll have to wait and see if COVID doesn't stop. If I had to live somewhere it'd have to be England or America. Or even Philippines. I'd like to test those places just to see what it's like to work and live there as well. But, one last big question. When is your next spoken word? Why spoken word? And when are we gonna, like, when are we gonna see more? Um, so for those that don't know, spoken word is pretty much, it's poetry. It's lyrical driven. Like, yeah, there's mu there can be music behind it, but 
lyrically that is the biggest part about spoken word it's, and it's the emotion that you perform with and it's just experience and that's why I say I think that's what I am like whatever I watch whatever I listen to whatever I like I say in my spoken word it has to be related to experiences and I have to be able to relate you know like you know what they say like you don't know a person until you walk a mile in their shoes and I think that's what is really true like you can't judge someone until you've actually walked in their shoes to answer your questions this comes to my announcement I thankfully will be releasing a spoken word very very soon probably next week next Thursday or earlier depending if you guys are nice I just wrote this spoken word just this week actually I started on Sunday I'm just finalizing a few things right now but I'm about to record it and hopefully give you a bit of a lyric video uh, by next week but I'm hoping to push just to expand into spoken word as well as it's like a separate part of my channel as well as the vlogs like the weekly vlogs which are coming out every Thursday or most Thursdays when I'm not releasing other things like this Q&A or like my spoken word next week so here's a little sneak peek to my little spoken word so I'll give you about maybe 15 20 seconds so in three two one I wake up to that feeling of sweat dripping down my head as if I just ran a marathon in my bed there's something about this pain that just don't sit right every night I question who I am inside yet when asked how are you I choose to hide and say I am fine and how was that did you guys enjoy that I enjoyed that so that is a quick little sneak peek of my spoken word coming soon. Um, the spoken word is very, very, very personal, I guess. Uh, can't wait for that. Can't wait to show you guys that and share that with you guys. That is something that I'm really keen for. And, of course, before I end it, thank you so much for all the support, the liking, subscribing, sharing. It means so much. Like, love out to you guys. Like, 100%. I'm keen. I'm keen, like, got a big thing planned this weekend, so that content will come out very soon as well. But, for now, thank you very much. See you guys next time, and bye-bye.